Well, hello again. It is day one of the spinal cord stimulation trial. Okay, I had the um, spinal cord stimulator trial done last night. Um, it went started around four o'clock in the afternoon, and we were done by seven. I was home a little after seven. Um, let me just go through exactly what happened to me during the trial, so you'll have an understanding of possibly what you'll be going through if you're planning on doing the trial. Went into the pain management doctor's office. The first thing I did was speak with the representative from Boston Scientific and he went through the procedure and um, told me that he was going to program uh, you know different uh, uh, programs uh, into the with the stimulation. Um, talked to him for maybe 10 minutes then he went out of the room. Then my, my pain management doctor came in, again, went over everything that was going to happen. And then uh, was finally taken into the room. The same room that I would go in to get my epidural injections. The same room. T signed some papers, talked a little bit more. Um, he had to kind of make sure everybody else was finished at the office that day because when you go in for an inje injection it takes maybe 10 minutes but this was going to take over an hour so he needed to be completely free of other patients before he started on my procedure he wouldn't be able to stop in the middle so basically you go on the table you lay down uh, on your belly um, he gave me an IV um, not like a hanging dripping IV but just a, like a little IV in my hand uh, through it he put an antibiotic and as it right before it really started he gave me a sedative now the sedative just kind of made me a little sleepy but I was awake during the entire procedure now um, I want to let you know it was it, it was painful it really it was I can't dress that up in any nice way um, the first thing uh, they do, of course, they drape you, you know, they put all the drapes over you, they sterilize the area thoroughly, I think they did it like two or three times, they drape you, so all they see is the area that, that they're working on. Um, the, the representative from Boston Scientific was there the entire time, obviously the doctor was there the entire time, and then there were two techs that helped the doctor. Um, first thing I felt were they give you injections to numb the area. Kind of similar if you're going to the dentist and they numb the area before they do dental work. So those little needles that, that numbing the area hurt because they're, they're needles. Obviously needles hurt. There's no getting around it. And I think it must have been at least four to six uh, times he injected me. That hurt. Once that's done, and I'm a little sleepy, but I, like totally aware of what's going on. Then I believe the first thing that happened was he puts in there about a four to five inch needle, a pr and I'm thinking at this point a pretty thick needle because that's what he's going to thread the leads through. So he puts one in on either side, and I could feel that. It wasn't like extremely painful because the area was numb, but I could, I could, you know, you could be, you f feel being moved around and you could feel pressure. Once those were placed, now the whole time it, you are under a, a fluoroscope, and a fluoroscope is like an x ray machine, but in real time. So it's like it's a live stream of a uh, x ray machine. So he could see exactly where he is, what he's doing. As those needles are first are in, then he starts to put the leads in. Um, the first lead on that I could feel it went on to the left side. He didn't have too much problem with. And again, can you feel it? You kind of feel like pressure. It's not, it doesn't really hurt. Uh, the needles uh, for the anesthesia was a, a lot more painful than this. So you kind of feel pressure, but of course you could feel you're being moved a little, you know, so you could kind of feel that. So the first one went in, I, it really wasn't painful. 
when he went on to the right side it was a little more difficult because on the right side is where I've had my two back surgeries and there's a lot of scar tissue there so for him to thread it through was a little bit more difficult for him once they were in place then the 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 man from Boston Scientific sits there with his laptop or his his tablet I guess it's like a big iPad and he starts programming and he'll say to you um, tell me when you feel anything and you'll start to feel like a stimulation and it might be in your right thigh or it might be in your left foot it could be anywhere and you have to just keep telling him yes I feel it and then he'll make it stronger and you, you tell him when it's too strong and it's a back and forth until you get coverage in the areas that you need it because before when I was talking to them before this bank began you have to tell them exactly where your pain is so they know where to place the leads and where to get the coverage of the stimulation so that's back and forth um, at one point I wasn't getting coverage the, the coverage down the legs was instantaneous the coverage down both legs straight to my feet um, and onto my sides but I was getting I was actually feeling it for some reason in my stomach instead of on my back so it was a little bit of adjusting then he had to take one of the leads and like raise it up a little higher once they got it to the exact spot where I was getting the coverage of stimulation they kept taking pictures with the fluoroscope so they knew exactly where it was placed once it was completely placed it was completely programmed he then began stitching uh, actually I think he took out the needles because the leads are in but the needles are they take the needles out and w they make sure that it's exactly the right spot and then he started stitching because there's two holes in your back and he stitched the leads onto your back so they won't move because you just you don't want them to move um, then of course there's the two wires and they asked me before which side I slept on and I kind of sleep on both sides but I really prefer the right side so they put everything on the left side because you have two wires coming out of your back and then you have um, the, the kind of the mechanism and then the wires and then you have your battery pack and the battery pack it's got to like be in a pouch so once they stitched it down have it all set up exactly where it's supposed to be they begin to put gauze lots of gauze on top of it and then um, tape it all down uh, with um, with like a that plastic tape uh, that you usually get like on your IV or whatnot they put that all over your back so you tape from like the top of your back down to almost your butt crack <laughs> and on both sides and the mechanism that um, is doing the stimulation that's also covered so all you have are these two wires t attached to this uh, battery pack left so um, I stayed on the table a little while um, they went over um, a little more things what was going on and, and how I was going to feel and then slowly I, I got up the two techs were now there with me helping me get up which was kind of hard because I'm laying on this table for a good two hours I had all this you know stuff done I'm in quite a bit of pain just laying on a table having nothing done for two hours you're in pain so getting up was a little difficult and then I was able to get off the table and into a wheelchair um, then and and you were able to keep your own clothes on you don't have to ch I didn't have to change my clothes I was able to keep my own clothes on um, and then I was wheeled into another room and the the representative from Boston Scientific was there and he went through uh, programming um, so I got the best coverage I was having a little trouble getting enough coverage actually to the back coverage down both legs 
on my sides, my you know down to my feet, excellent, quickly, no problem. But trying to get coverage, all my my entire back was kind of difficult. I don't know if it's because everything that happened, my I, my back might have been swollen and I was just in pain. So it was like you know going back and forth with these programs to see to get the best coverage and he made like about I think he made about five or six different programs there are programs where you feel stimulation and then there are programs where it's on but you don't feel it so that's really nice I didn't I thought you were always gonna feel stimulation but he made programs that are just you don't feel anything but it's still on uh, and that's what he left me with after we went through these programs and he'll say to you like if you've ever gone to an eye doctor and they put that thing down and he'll say does it look better this way or does it look better that way he kinda did this does it feel better like this does it feel better like this where are you feeling it now and back and forth and back and forth and then he uh, created about five programs the programs go here's the remote and the programs are in the remote at that time he was hooked up from my battery pack to his laptop and that's how he created the programs so I'm sure he has the programs still in his laptop the programs are here in the remote and um, really I'm not doing much with the remote because he wanted me to stay with the one program we set I, he asked me do you want to feel stimulation or you don't I said I'm kind of in a lot of pain and I went through a lot I really would rather not feel anything uh, you know right away so he left me with a program that I didn't feel I didn't feel it all night um, if you move a certain way you might feel a tingle here or there I guess it's you putting pressure on the leads but I really didn't feel it all night um, came home just very kind of groggy and um, honestly in a lot of pain I, don't, I can't sugarcoat that a lot of pain pretty much all night and still now it's about um, it's about noon uh, yeah about 1230 the next afternoon and um, I, I want I kind of feel like my ribs hurt my whole kind of torso hurts obviously my back hurts where everything was done but kind of like around your whole torso your ribs my hips that whole area is just very very sore um, I don't even know if I would say it I'm in a tremendous amount of pain it's just sore and if you move a certain way it kind of you know it, it's very uncomfortable so at this point I'm not positive it's actually working because I am uh, uncomfortable with the whole procedure and you're all taped up and you have this thing uh, attached to the, the, the actually I used like a little fanny pack because the belt they have was this hard kind of um, uh, velcro thing that it kind of fit but it was just too uncomfortable so I have like a fanny pack and I have the, the power pack in in like the pocketbook uh, part and just around my waist. Um, sleeping last night was better than I expected because I always have a hard time sleeping so being in even more pain I really wasn't expecting to sleep at all but I did take pain medication I took a sleeping pill and I was I did actually sleep at least a few hours at a time which for me was actually pretty good I was able to get in the bed I was able to fall asleep in the bed I would wake up like every couple hours or so then I'd come and sit in my computer chair fall asleep at my desk and then go back in the bed but overall I slept a lot better than I thought I would um, today I've been trying to see if it's actually working the one thing I did notice um, I you know I uh, actually walked outside and I wanted to walk back and forth to see if it was there was any change and I did feel like I was walking easier before when I would walk I'd be in so much pain I'd kind of like tiptoe and I'd have my cane and I'd you know walk really really slowly and I almost felt this morning 
you know, I'm still in a lot of pain with this stuff that happens to me, but I actually felt like I could just almost walk a little bit more n normally, which I was kind of surprised at. And of course, I don't want to jump the gun and I don't want to think, oh, it's, you know, that's it. I just want to slowly see if it's working. So I, I, I assume hopefully by tomorrow a lot of this um, achiness from the procedure will have gone and I could actually see if it's um, <clears throat> working a little bit, you know, more. Right now, like this morning, I woke up, I took my pain medication, because when I woke up, I was just, you know, I mean, having any procedure, you wake up and you're all, you know, achy. So I took my pain medication this morning, and that was about five hours ago. And right now, I'm actually, I, I, I mean, I kind of, again, I'm sore, but I kind of feel okay. At this point on a, with before this, I'd be looking, you know, at the fourth hour, I'm looking for pain med medication again. And right now, I, I kind of feel alright. So, I don't want to jinx it. But, um, uh, uh, he did put me on antibiotics. Um, they want to make sure that, you know, because you've got a foreign object in your body coming out of your body, and they just want to make sure that you don't get any kind of infection. Also, the doctor asked me to make a pain log. Um, he said, about three times a day, just write down how you're feeling. So when I go back to him, uh, I'm supposed to go back on Wednesday. He wants this in for five days. Um, I could tell him, you know, how I was feeling, if it's working. Um, so he said to write in it about three times a day. Um, the other thing that um, the representative from Boston Scientific said to me, he said, remember this. BLT. I'm like, I'm having a sandwich? No, BLT. The three things that you have to avoid while doing this trial. No bending, no lifting, and no twisting. Which, is okay, but then of course you're doing things and it's like, you, you, you forget. And if you do uh, try and do something and you move the wrong way, you will get like a feeling of stimulation in, in one leg or in, in a foot. Uh, and, and even like when you're in bed and you kind of move and adjust yourself, you will feel the stimulation. It must put pressure on the leads. So those three things, bending, lifting, twisting, you have to avoid the entire time you have the stimulator in the trial. Also, during the trial, you they tell you, do not shower because they do not want water getting on the wires. I mean, I don't know if, you know, if it would short out or anything. Uh, my doctor said if I really, really, really have to take a shower to just wrap myself in saran wrap. But I think I'll do more of a, you know, washcloth kind of in the sink kind of thing. It, today's Saturday already. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, it's not even a full week. I mean, it, by t tomorrow I'm going to start to feel yucky, but, uh, I, I, you know, it's not the greatest, but that's pretty much it. Um, for right now, that's about all I have to tell you. I will come back again tomorrow and update you and let you know how it's going. Hopefully I'm answering some questions for anyone out there who is thinking of going through the spinal cord stimulator trial. Thanks.